here we have an approximately 2000-2008 snapper mower. It's in for maintenance and service. I've already changed the oil in it. And I'm going to sharpen the blade, wash it up good. It needs a new drive boot too. I've got those. 15 horse Kohler. It's in pretty good shape. It was my grandfather's mower. My mother uses it to mow grandma's yard. Now I've moved the snapper over, tipped it up on its back so we can get to the underneath of it. Blade's a little bit beat up. I have to take that, sharpen that. But here's what we're going to work on. If you look right down here, the boot's got a hole in it. My electrical tape just about held it. I put that on there halfway through last season because this little disc behind this clutch here. This in here stripped out on that to put all this new in it like halfway through last year. So I just taped the boot to this year, but now it's getting ready for the new season. So we're going to tackle this drive boot. First, we're going to have to pull this hubcap here. And you see this bolt in here. This was all brand new, as you can see. Pull this bolt and the tire will pull right off. On this particular mower, the bolt is a half inch, as you can see. So we'll pull this bolt. Ratchet would have been easier, right? So this bolt comes out. Be sure to keep your lock washer. This is a weird ass little tapered bolt. Jump out to get a hammer. So I'll be right back. Okay, now a few taps with the hammer is loosen this up. Put your nut back on so you don't damage your threads. Then this all comes apart. You should always put your bolts back together so you don't lose them. Anyways, now I'm going to try to pull this tire one-handed. Which, see it moved a little bit. Now if your lawnmower hasn't been taken apart forever, this will probably be a pain in the butt. So you see it sliding off slowly. And I'll come back once I get that done. Okay, I'm back now. Now as you can see, I have the tire off. Took a took two hands to work it off of here. If yours hasn't been apart for a while, this will be rusted up and it will be a bit of a pain to get off. Now, to get to this boot in here, I gotta pull these bolts around here, and disconnect, and you see that clamp in there, right there. And this whole side panel will come off. Okay, folks, now I've got all these bolts pulled around here. Some of the two little clips here for this wire. Be sure you get them back in the right places. One of them had a lock nut, as you can see. Now, got some random cabbage up in here. What you doing, girl? Now you see I've cleaned this off. All these bolts are out. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this one on the bottom. They were all half inch. One of them has a nut in the back. This one right here, as you can see, it don't have cut threads like that front one does. I've got both of my clamps loose here, now ready to pull it apart. Just work this piece off gently. It'll slide off a little bit of finagle in here. Or a lot of bit of finagling. Okay. Now, if you have slop in your wheels, there's a bearing in here, which can be hammered out. It's about 12 bucks. I had to put one on another snapper. Okay, but now that piece is apart. We can go in here. I have to pry, see I had to pry on this boot a little bit. It was stuck. 
you just pull the slide to boot right off. This one's ready to be replaced, but I'm going to go ahead and replace them both since one's got a hole, the other one probably isn't far behind. And to do the other one, of course, you have to pull these two clamps. You have to pull this cable right here, and there's a shift linkage on this thing right here. Yeah, can you? Yeah, you have to pull that bolt right there and pull this cable. Then this whole assembly will slide right off, and you can get to your other boot. Okay, now I've got this cable loose right here. Leave us not alone. This goes down in here. It has, to, it has to come all the way out, as you can see, the lower bolt down here. But if you leave this one alone up top, you won't have to readjust it. And if the whole thing tries to turn on, you just get you a pair of pliers and put a little bit, just put a little bit of strength on them enough, enough to work that other bolt off with a wrench. Now I've got this one loose, and I've got to go down here. I've still got to pull the shift lever a couple other little pointers be sure to turn off the parking brakes if you leave the parking brake on this cable will be under tension and if you put the transmission in reverse you have a lot more room to get to this stuff because of course on these snappers it slides it that way for reverse okay now I've got this bolt out of here this bolt is a half inch this is a 7 sixteenths. Hold it with another inch. The whole thing don't spin because it's in a U-joint. I don't know if you can see that, but it, it, the whole thing will spin if you don't put it on that. Now, to get this bolt out of this hole, I had to have a little bit more room. So I got a pair of channel lock handles down in here. And you can push on it, which is the same thing as activating the clutch. It'll give you just enough room to push that bolt out. Now, now all I've got left to do here is pull these two clamps and this thing will slide off the end. You don't want to get that grease on you, it's pretty nasty. Okay, we've had a minor goof here. To slide the thing off, you got the pole that goes into the shifter. So I had to lay the lawnmower back down and pull these two half inch bolts. There's one there. And there was one there. Yeah, you can see right here, this piece here won't slide out of this. So I had to loosen this up. So this will drop down and fall off. Now, let me move this back out of the way. You just This will dangle. But you can set it up there. It's the piece that holds the side of the deck up. So now we can slide this entire transmission assembly off of the axle. Now notice I left this wire here because there's more than enough wire just to lay it down. And there we have our have our primary drive assembly out. And I already loosened these hose clamps so this will slide right off. And there we go, we have both of our boots apart now. Now I'll have to go get the new ones, change over the clamps, and start sliding them on. Okay, we've got our new boot ready to go here. I've already put the hose clamps on it. These are Sten's boots. I'm not sure how much I like them. These are more plasticky than the than the rub. Those are more rubber, and these are more of a plastic. I'm not sure how they're going to hold up. But we'll find out. These were about I think I got about eight or ten dollars in them shipped here. Anyway, it's time to slide it back on. And there we go, there's my first one. Just have to tighten up that hose clamp. And I'm ready to slide the transmission, the primary drive back on. Now, these are a little bit different. They've got this section right here. So there's two different part numbers here. This section goes in here over the clutch. But we'll get to that in a few minutes. Okay, now I've got my inner boot tight. I'm ready to put this back on. This the mower have to be tipped back up to get these two screws in because they go in from this way. Then my cable. 
We'll just go back there. We're almost ready for the other boot. Okay, now at this point, I've got this tightened back up. This cable here. It's tightened back up here. I don't know why I have a lot of slack here at the moment. I hope that works out. I know I didn't move this too much, maybe a couple of turns. But now I've still got to put them bolts back in, but I can't do that until it's back up on its wheels. I'll have to do that from the bottom, from reach around from underneath to line it up and shove the bolts in. But I've got this on here. This is good and tight, so I'm ready to put my side back on. My bearing's good, so I ain't going to do nothing with that. I have to wipe that off before I button this thing up. But just line her back up. I've already got her started. Go ahead and get this started on. Oh, got a hose clamp. Okay, I'm not going to be able to do this with one hand, but just to show you, there's a little toothed washer. I don't know if you can see the two teeth on that or not right there. But it goes in this goes in this hexagonal piece here. And you gotta hold the thing back to keep it from splitting them. But you see it fits right in there like that. I'm gonna have to put the camera down to get the side back on it. We will return. Okay, for some reason that end of that clamp took a little finagling. But everything's back together here. And I'm ready to put the side back on. So just put your nut back on down at the bottom. Line up all your holes around here. I remember, one of them had a lock nut. That one had a lock nut. And this one's got a bolt that goes behind it here. So we'll slap that back together. Okay, now I've got my side piece all bolted back up. Okay, don't forget you got a lock washer here if you're working on the exact same lawnmower that will fall out. This one stayed for me. It might not for you. And don't be a dummy and forget to put this blade hanger back on like I did and have to take it apart and redo it. But that's all back together and ready to throw our tire back on. Okay, now back to them two bolts, them two 9 16 bolts that I should have done first before I even flipped this thing over. As you can see, the holes line up relatively easily. So I just slap them two bolts back in there and she's good to go. Thanks for watching. More to come later.